Okay, and we're back. And now we're going to create, cool. after we've created um, all our symbols, geometry, and uh, we have our little boxes all built here. Uh, we're just going to double check here. We're going to go click on the uh, circle, and that is zero layer by block. Okay. This is, the lines here are zero layer red. If you drop, do the drop down, you can see it's just under the by block. Uh, the text is a zero layer green. And I think that's everything. So if everything is set there, I have a little checkoff box for you to make sure. Layers are set to zero layer. Okay, so this does not ever change. It's always zero layer when we're building blocks. Properties are set to by block unless other specified. And so like the circles will be all on the by block, the set to by block properties. Most of the lines are going to be set to um, red on the properties box. And uh, the text is going to be green. Now there are some circles that are going to, that if they're larger than the three inch, they are going to be on the red and the triangles are going to be on the red. Okay, what else have we got down here? The helix is going to be on the red. Uh, I think that's about it. So. Um, if you've got all your geometry made and you've checked off all your geometry and it meets the criteria here on the checkoff list for blocks, you are good to go. So here's how we build a block. So easy. B for block. Okay? We get the block dialog box open. We're going to create a name for the block. We notice we have nothing in our block um, naming um, convention here. So I'm going to go to duplex. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go E, because we're going to be making electrical symbols, as opposed to if we were making plumbing symbols, would be on P. Um, landscape symbols would be on L. Architectural symbols would be on A. Um, C would be for civil. It just goes on down the line. So, but we're going to make we're making electrical symbols, so we're going to be on the E E symbol there. Okay, so E duplex. RECP. I'm going to shorten it to duplex receptacle. I go here and it says, write down in objects, below objects, it says specify the, uh, select the object. So I'm going to pick that. I'm going to go in here with a crossing window going from right to left and just hit as much geometry as I just, so I just need to touch the geometry. I'm going to hit enter. Now it says pick a point for my insert point. Okay. Notice that it's also, there's a little preview right up here. Our duplex receptacle has a little preview, and now I'm going to pick the geometry, and I'm going to come in here, and I need to turn my O snaps back on, and I'm going to come in here and pick the quadrant, and notice it highlighted that, okay, and that's all good. That tells you exactly where it is. That's how many places that goes out to. I'm going to go OK, and there is our block, okay. And we're in the block editor. I'm going to close the block editor. I'm going to go B for block, and this time I'm going to go double D B L. How about D O U B? Double duplex R E C P. Double duplex receptive. Spell everything correctly. What did I forget? Ooh, I forgot the E. Okay, there we go. E double duplex receptive. And let's try to shorten this up a little bit. Double. Isn't it? I think you get rid of all the you get rid of all of the vowels, right? Yeah, you get rid of all the vowels. So double duplex receptacle. Select the object. I'm gonna go from here to here and grab all those items. Hit and enter and pick point. And we'll go pick the quadrant and we we'll go OK. And it shows me out here into the R. And close that. Hit enter again because we're still in the. Oops, we're in, oh, I must say I'm going to have to hit B for block. Because the editor is opening, I can't just scroll, uh, scroll through these. So, OK, we're going to call this one E hyphen weatherproof.
Select, enter, and I wonder if there's a convert to block. Oh, right down here. See here in the corner? Open in block editor. I'm going to uncheck that box, and now it won't go there. Yay. Okay, and then I can hit enter. And we're going to go to B, I think, round. Oh, interrupter. Oh, how, how about this? G, F, C, I. That would be even easier. Okay. Pick, enter, pick a point. Let's be right down there again and go OK. Great. And then enter. And again, remember, I un have this unchecked now, so we're not always going into the editor. Okay, and this is going to be an E. Two, two, O, oh, two twenty volt, CP. Come over here and grab this, enter, pick a point, and okay. Now I'm just going to work my way all the way down this list, okay, until they're all done, exactly the same. You'll make sure you look on your help sheet to find out where these want to be picked. And um, I, my, where is my help sheet here? If I got it open, and if we drag that over here, you can see where the black lines are on these objects. So it looks like they're in the center right there in the box. So that would be at the midpoint there. That would be in the, in the center of the circle or midpoint between two points in the center of the box, mid between two points. Looks like that one's on the bottom midpoint. And these are at the base of the lines. So just use your little help guide over here to help you figure out where you're going to have all your all your insert points. Okay. So now I want to show you how this works. Okay. So now I'm going to do some magic here. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go and I'm going to create a new layer. I haven't done this yet, so I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to drag this right over here. And I'm going to go by E Sim E Sim layer, which is E symbols. I'm going to use color 73 for this. You could use any of the threes. Okay, I'm going to put it on the layer that we want, and then I'm going to go pick that, and if, if I double click it, notice the green line, jump, the green uh, check mark jumps to there, and makes it the current level. If I can double click here, zero is the current level. Double click here, E symbol, see, right up here, look right up there. Now how about def points, oh, or viewport, but well, we want E symbol, okay, and our e, e symbol here, okay. Now notice the color of my circle here. Notice when I pick this, because it's a block, all the entities are picked. Okay. Pretty cool. Okay. Now I'm gonna go over here to insert. I'm gonna go right here, right here, and I'm gonna go insert. Look at I got a choice, so I'm gonna go up here and get my duplex receptacle, and I'm gonna go OK, and I'm gonna put that puppy in there. And that should be. Oh, I gotta change this. By layer. So, excuse me. So now by layer. So let's go to insert. And. Insert. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It changed colors. It changed colors. How magic is that? Okay, let's do it down here. Let's let's put it on the viewport layer just for fun. Go to insert, pick, grab the duplex receptacle, and bring it in. Oh, look at that! It's a different color. Let's even do this again. Let's go down. Let's go to. Um, I want to go to home, and I want to go to create a new couple. Let's create a couple new layers. Let's go uh, red. 
comma, blue, comma, magenta. Okay. And let's change that to magenta. Okay. Let's change this to blue. And let's change this one to red. I'll just show you that. So we are set up by layer here. We're back to by layer. We're going to go to blue. We're going to go to insert. We're going to pick the insert. We double two flex receptacle. And we're going to bring it in. It is blue. Is that cool or what? Let's go over here and change this to red. And we'll go to insert. Bring in a little bit in a different one. How about we bring the GFI in this time? It's on red, and it's all red. Notice the lines, because we told them when we built them to stay on red, they always do, but the circles, because we built them on by block, get, now have the ability to change colors. Okay, the ch chameleon effect. We're going to go up here and, uh, ooh, magenta. Okay, and we're going to go insert, and we're going to pick a block. Let's pick another block. How about the weather, weather booth receptacle? And look at that. Okay, this is the magic of building these by blocks, as blocks, okay? So, when you are blocking, this wants to be on zero. This wants to be on by block. Okay, and you're just going to keep going. So, that one's done, so now I need to do a ceiling knot. So, I'm going to go to B for block, and I'm going to go E ceiling mount RECP pick I'm going to grab all the geometry enter and I'm going to go to the pick point and I'm going to grab that right there let's go look at my little list I'm not I can't remember um, which one that is supposed to be on. And I did do that correctly. The ceiling mount is, again, a down the lower quadrant. It's not until we get to ceiling mounting light fixtures that we go to center. So, okay. So, again, um, over there. And we're going to go to internet. Okay, so we're going to go to B for block. And we're going to go E, hyphen, internet. We're going to go and select the objects. We're going to grab all the geometry, enter. We're going to pick a point, and we're going to put that right on that quadrant down there and go OK. And we're just going to finish this on out for the rest of it. So that's all I need you to know about creating blocks. Now you've got your blocks. Um, if we go into um, uh, our block layers here. Let's go to the block here, and we go to our. You should see a list like this, and I'm going to be looking for your list, and it needs to look just like this. It has to have an E and a hyphen. I do. I'm not really uh, going to beat you up about whether it's uppercase or lowercase, but the norm is to have everything in uppercase. It's just a little bit easier to read. Um, and there we go. Now, some of the other things that are in this box here that you should know about is the difference between when we're creating we're uh, creating our uh, ge or taking or selecting our geometry you could retain the geometry so um, that means when you create the geometry it stays there uh, and it is not a block so this these would not be blocks or you can convert to a block which is what I normally do okay or you can delete the geometry let's do that one just for fun okay let's go do that for fun let's go down here Let's pick one when we haven't done. Let's go down here to the ceiling mounted fixture. Okay. I'm going to go B for block. I'm going to change this to delete. Okay. And I'm going to E ceiling mount light 5x. Okay. We've got this on delete now. Let's see what happens. Select my object. Enter. Pick my point, it's midpoint here, and go OK, and let's see what happens. Oh, oh no, where'd it go? It disappeared. 
let's see where it is. Let's go to insert. Okay, insert. Ceiling mount fixture. Okay, oh, there it is right there. There it is. It's still there. We just told it to delete it when we built it, okay? So um, you can do that. I don't do it very often, but you can do that. I'm going to put this in place now. I'm going to go move. And I'm going to go from the midpoint there. I'm going to shift interconnect between the other two points from there to there. And there we go. So I just put it back in. But you saw how it went away because I deleted it, okay? And if I do block here again, um, I'm going to get that back to convert to block and retain. Let's let's try that one. Let's go to retain. Okay, let's go to retain and we're going to go E uh, re C S light fixture. Okay, and select the object. And grab this here. Enter. Pick the point, and I believe this is in the center again, and I'm going to go OK. Now, look at this. It's not a block. Let's bring it in. Let's go to Insert, and Recessed Light Fixture. OK. So there's our block. You can see all the ge geometry highlights, no matter where we touch it. All the geometry highlights, because it's a block. This is not a block. Okay. So that could happen. You might want to do that. I don't know why, but you might want to do that. So I'm going to throw this away. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it from there. Shift right click, mid two points. Boink and a boink. There we go. Cool. Let's do, uh, we haven't done the, I think we've done the internet. I haven't done the telephone. Let's do the telephone. So let's do block. And this time I'm going to go back to convert to block because I think this is just a lot easier. Okay, and E, telephone. And there we go. And we'll select our geometry. Clear down, enter. Pick a point for our insert point right there. And there we go. And finally, I'm going to just hit enter again because I'm in the command. I'm going to go E. And. Is that cable telling you? Okay. okay. Select the object. Enter. Pick the insert point. And okay. That's about blocks. I hope that helps you. Hope that answers most of your questions. I hope you got to see how when we change the layers and we bring them in on different layers, the, the, uh, the, the whatever is white and was built as a block by block will be a, a chameleon and come in at the, on that same color. So I think it's a great thing to know.